Rui Lopez opening, Berlin, El Hermit, Berlin Wall Defense, 9.NC3BD7. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black really came to play in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. D4 opens up the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. And d6 retreats the knight to a central square where it attacks the bishop on b5. Bx c6 captures the knight and forces black to double the c pawns. Dx c6 captures the bishop, opens up the d file and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Dx e5 captures the e5 pawn attacks the knight on d6 and controls the f6 square. nf5 moves the knight to an active square where it controls d4. qx d8 plus trades queens and stops black from castling. kx d8 recaptures the queen. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. bd7 develops the light squared bishop and opens the c8 square for the king. Games master. It is the final book action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This kicks an opposing knight. This threatens to win material. It is excellent. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is incorrect. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. 
it is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. A powerful play. It is quite good. The potential for an x-ray attack through two pieces exists here. It is incorrect. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This overlooks a more effective approach to sidestep the enemy rook's check. It is incorrect. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is quite good. A bishop is pinned as a result, which limits its mobility. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This loses material. This permits the opponent to create an x-ray attack through two pieces. It is a blunder. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black really came to play in the end game.